Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, we are heading to Costco to restock the pantry, working on one of my rehaul for fall projects, and making some chicken soup for dinner. So today is just one of those regular Tuesdays. It's going to be pretty simple and laid back, but we are heading out for just a little while. So today I put on this navy cardigan from Ann Taylor. I have this striped market and spruce t-shirt that I got in my Stitch Fix box. My white jeans are from Target that I found a couple years ago, and I have my Lauren Conrad flats from Kohl's. We have not been to Costco in well over a month, so today's trip was to restock our empty pantry and refrigerator, and as you can see, I think we did a pretty good job. I think we spent somewhere around $250, and when we get home, I will show you what we got. So this is pretty much everything that we got. I did pick up a few items for the kids that I've already put upstairs, but these are all the groceries that I picked up today. So we'll start in the back here. I got a big old case of Tide Pods because I was completely out. I got some Fuji apples and I found these cauliflower pizza crusts that I'm going to give a try. I don't know if they are going to be a great replacement for real pizza, but we'll see. I'll let you know. Uh, back here I have some Downy Unstoppables. We got a big old case of kitchen garbage bags. Uh, we got a big old bag of craisins, some really beautiful peaches that just need to ripen up just a little bit. And I bought another um, package of that rotisserie chicken that I always talk about. I use it for so many things. And then I got some chicken breasts that I'm going to put right into my freezer. So in the bag here, I really have a peanut butter issue. So I got both chunky and smooth peanut butter. I have a big container of Pecorino Romano cheese. Down here I have um, a whole case of Greek yogurt. We go through this really quick with lunches. I have some uh, mandarin oranges. So I was pretty happy to be able to find this spice at Costco. I know that everybody uses um, everything but the bagel spice that Trader Joe's has. And I just, we don't have one really close to us. So I was happy to find this at Costco. I also got a big box of organic raisins. I got a big bottle of extra virgin olive oil. I got a container of red seedless grapes. I'm gonna be making um, chicken salad. And I think that is just about everything. So this is our big Costco haul. I'm gonna put this all away and I will be back in just a minute. So I put everything away and I changed into my comfy clothes because I'm gonna start making chicken soup. And yes, I know it is summertime, but I eat soup all year long. It's just one of those things that is really great to have in the freezer and in the refrigerator for quick meals and stuff like that. So. So I'm gonna start making my chicken soup, but I want to show you first this project that I have been working on for days. So what I am doing is I am going through my collection that I have over the last couple years of cooking magazines. I have a lot of Paula Deen and uh, Southern Living, Taste of Home, those kinds of books, and I'm just going through them and taking out the recipes that I like and I think that I'm going to make and recycling the magazines. I just have so many. I usually collect the most over probably from like September to December. I really love those holiday issues. I love the decorating and the party ideas and just, you know, different recipes and fun things that you can make during the holidays. So I'm going to show you how I'm putting it all together in my recipe binders. I have a very large collection of recipes and some of you know that my big cabinet in the hallway is where I store um, my cookbook collection, my recipe binders and family binders, and um, those containers that I have some of my uh, saved magazines over the years. Now, I have always collected recipes. I think it's just because, you know, cooking was a big deal in my family and my first memories really are of 
my mom and grandmom cooking in the kitchen and some of those recipes that they used are in this little container here and I have my mom's very first cookbook that she got at her bridal shower and some of my um, old school family recipes are in this little book here. But over the years, and I'm talking probably the majority of my married life, I have collected cooking magazines. So the majority of my collection is in these buckets on the bottom two shelves of my cabinet. And I have them divided into um, Christmas, holiday, Thanksgiving, and um, Halloween. And as you can imagine, over the years, that's a lot of magazines. So what I have been doing is slowly going through everything, deciding what issues I actually want to keep, and the other ones that I don't want to keep, I'm just going through and pulling out recipes that I think I'm going to want to try. You know, they have a lot of great decorating ideas and craft ideas and just fun holiday traditions that, you know, I like to tuck into, you know, my binder because you never know when you can use an idea for a party or family get together. So that is what I've been working on and I wanna show you like all the supplies that I have and how I'm going about doing it. So I have myself set up here on the kitchen table and I have a big old basket of magazines that I'm going to be going through next. But I pulled out one of my um, recipe binders. This one is a dessert binder. And I just wanted to show you how I had it set up and how I'm going to change it. So usually what I do is I make a really cute cover page, you know, with one of the kids' pictures throughout the years. And then on the inside, I just had, you know, simple dividers. Like for example, this is cake. So here is all the different cakes I've made throughout the years, the family favorites, you know, the whole kit and caboodle. And what I am finding is I need to be a little bit more specific. So I ran up to Walmart, which is really awesome because, you know, everybody has their back to school stuff out already. And I've been able to find a lot of great things, you know, for all my little organizing projects. So I came across these customizable Avery tabs that I thought would work out really well because I can be much more specific in the way that I'm organizing all these recipes so that you know they'll just be easier for me to find and um, there's 12 different dividers here i can really break them down more specifically like for example in the cake section it could be chocolate cakes vanilla cakes uh, coconut cake um, candy cakes you know all those different kinds of things that will be really helpful you know in the future when i'm looking up something or when i pass things on to you know on to my kids so that is what i'm going to use to divide each of the binders and this is my stack i've probably have gone through oh my gosh i don't know how many magazines and this is the only ones that i have saved so i'm being really really critical as to what i am saving because i want to make sure that it's something i know that i'm going to make and I have a, you know, a specific thing in mind for it. So that's what I'm gonna get started on now. This is gonna be quite a process, so I will keep you guys up to date and I will show you when I'm all done as to you know, what the books look like and the difference in my collection. So remember I said earlier that this vlog was going to be pretty simple and laid back so just so you know up front you know that little trip to Costco was our excitement for the day for the rest of the time I'm probably gonna be here in the kitchen um, I'm gonna be making some chicken soup I got my veggies all back there I'm going to start to chop up and it's just gonna be kind of laid back I'm not gonna show you every step of the way with the um, with my chicken soup it is a recipe that I have shared um, on my channel before but I will be sure to put um, the recipe in the information box down below and I will be sure to show you the finished product So these are the veggies that I'm gonna get to chop and you know the one thing that I really love about soup is that you can put as Many vegetables in it as you want and my husband always teases me is he says that my chicken soup is more like carrot soup because I put so much carrots in them, but you know what I will probably put I want to say maybe six or seven whole carrots in there. You know, I'll chop them up and put them in there. I also like a whole bunch of chopped dill in my soup. I'm probably going to chop this whole package of celery. 
a big bunch of parsley and this whole onion and I have to get my garlic out of the fridge. You know, no recipe is complete unless there's garlic in it, right? So one of the things that I do when I really have a lot to get done around the house is I listen to podcasts or I have, you know, YouTube playing in the background. But one of the biggest things that I listen to is um, on Prime Video, I have, I think it's called like the ID investigation channel and I listen to on the case with Paula Zahn she has something like 18 seasons of her show and now granted it's probably not the best thing to listen to you know if you're home alone because these are you know murder investigations and things like that but it just I really like to have something on in the background and I really find um, her reports really interesting so this is something that I do all the time when I'm cleaning or I have a lot of cooking to do. If I don't have the radio going, I'm listening to my girl Paula Zahn. So I have my soup at a serious boil. I have it boiling away here. I have everything in it. Um, I have my carrots and chicken and herbs, all that good stuff. And I'm about to put in the pasta. And I like to use Stalina which I was having a hard time finding in my area. I used to buy it um, by the case from Amazon. And then one of you guys told me that it was selling at Target. So that's where I've been getting it ever since then. I just buy it by the little packages and I fill up one of my um, half gallon um, mason jars full of it. And for the soup, I put in a little bit over a cup I like my soup to be nice and thick and this pasta really helps thicken it up really well. So here is the chicken soup all plated up and ready for dinner. I just have a few rich crackers there on the side. I also have some cheesy bread in the oven. It has a couple more minutes left to go. Now we also like to eat our soups the old-fashioned Italian way. This is the way my grandmother and my mother always served their soups was with um, Pecorino Romano cheese sprinkled on top. Sometimes a little, most likely a lot. I just always remember eating soup this way when I was a kid. I don't know if any of you have ever done the same, but it is really good and makes a huge difference. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. And like I said, I will put the information for the recipe in the information bar down below. So if you try this soup, you'll have to let me know what you think. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. So many of you had requested some longer vlogs, so I am really going to try to add more of them to my lineup. Please follow me on Instagram at My Bashful Life, and don't forget to subscribe because I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. So until I see you in that next video, I hope you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, and I'll see you again soon.